Why did you choose this one? Well, I chose this one because at the time, the Mark II was en route to being released, so the price on this one dropped dramatically. And then also, it's lighter than the Mark II. I've compared the two. I've compared the IS and the non-IS, and I didn't see that great of variation in the picture quality. If I'm shooting video and I'm handheld, and then the IS kicks in and it really helps. However, I prefer to have a lighter lens. Oh, so this is significantly lighter than the... Significantly lighter. Than the image stabilized version? Yes. Do you find that it performs better at certain focal lengths? Now, this is my personal assessment. Someone else may feel different. But um, I've done portraits with this lens, and at 85, it's pretty good at 85, but um, it's not as good as a prime 85. You know, it's still a zoom lens. There's more glass involved and then more moving components. But um, my sweet spots are 135 to probably around to 85, in between those right there. At 70, I get a little vignetting, I noticed. And at 200, the image is a little shaky. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get supreme focus. How's the autofocus on the lens? Focus is really quick. News reporters use this if you go, if you look on any of the coverage of someone giving a speech about something, you're going to see a whole bunch of white Canon L lenses poking out. It's a great sports lens. If you autofocus and then you want to adjust, you have to turn off the manual focus? No, it has a manual focus override. You could keep it in autofocus and manually focus the lens without having any sort of um, complications with your micro motor. You won't do anything to damage it. It's a great street photography lens simply because, I mean, you have that 70 to 200 range. You can keep people in their natural expression without disturbing them by approaching them. And it's not that heavy. So unless you put a battery pack on there and kind of gear it up, you can move around. I was looking at the shots that you had on your website of um... the protesters down on Wall Street. A lot of those shots I took with the 70 to 200 because it was early in the morning, it was like 6.45, and the rebels were just waking up to get ready for a new day of protest. And I was able to, instead of walk up to them and shoot them, I was able to stand uh, all the way on the other side of the, um, the area that they're occupying and shoot them all without disturbing them. Have you ever dropped the lens? Yes, I had a heart attack, picked it up, put the lens back on, and just praying to God that nothing is wrong with it, and there was nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's a beefy, metal-encased tank of a lens. You know, you could throw it around a little bit, you could get it wet, it's weather-sealed, so, um, yeah, it's a thumbs-up lens.